Since 2011, the crippled nuclear power plant in Fukushima, Japan, has generated some 1.3 million tons of radioactive water that's had to be stored. The plan now, though, is for Japan to start releasing it into the ocean. In the meantime, Korean scientists are developing ways to remove multiple radioactive elements from ocean water. They've succeeded already with radioactive iodine. In the third installment in her Smart Korea series, our Shin Yan looks at this important research. In a few months, we may see coasts like where I am right now contaminated with nuclear waste. That's because Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority has given the green light to release radioactive water from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant starting next spring. Though the Japanese government said it would dilute the water so tritium levels fall below what's considered dangerous, neighboring countries like South Korea and China have expressed concerns. That's why a group of researchers here in the country has decided to take action. They found a way to get rid of harmful radioactive elements like iodine from the sea. And let's go find out how. The Korea Atomic Energy Research Institute took the initiative in 2019. In just three years, they've accomplished what other researchers around the world couldn't. They found a way to selectively remove radioactive iodine from water. What did the trick was coating magnetic iron nanoparticles with platinum. Because platinum sticks well to iodine, it can suck the radioactive particles out. Being able to selectively remove radioactive elements is said to be a game changer. We've now found a way to easily and efficiently save the Earth. Unlike other absorbents out there, ours can be used up to 100 times. Because we're able to selectively get rid of radioactive iodine, the cleaned up water can still be of use. The latest development can also be used at hospitals to clean up radioactive waste from anti-cancer drugs. It can also selectively extract natural iodine, which is used to make medicine. The team leader said more developments are on the way. Right now, we're only able to decontaminate 20 litres of water at once. We hope we can expand the maximum capacity before this development gets commercialised. We're also working on extracting other radioactive elements like cesium. Once this technology is commercialised, South Korea will be one of the first countries in the world to suck out millions of tonnes worth of iodine from the sea. Shin Yun, Arirang News.